So we ask you in Lab 4 to import the lakes layer into the uplands, but why would we do that? Basically, you don't want to digitize the same layer twice. We can some you can use some digitizing tricks so that we can match to the lakes layer to digitize our uplands and then throw away the lakes layer. So here we have the uplands, but in the uplands is our lakes. And focusing on our study area, first we want to clip off and throw away the areas outside. So if we set uplands as our editing target and select the polygon, with snapping set we can use the split polygon tool, first digitizing outside, then along the boundary of our study area, and then outside again to split the polygon. You see now there's this selection color that shows there are two pieces, and I can go ahead and use the caret to select the inside or the outside piece. Now I want to delete this outside piece, so if I right click and delete and select other patches, I want to get rid of right click and delete. Then I am only left with my inner area. Now it's still lake and I want the uplands, so I can use this autocomplete tool with uplands as my target. So I go to the construction tools and I pick this autocomplete tool and I click first inside an existing polygon and staying within the snapping distance along that boundary edge, digitize a polygon, and then after a while I'll go back inside and click, and it auto-completes matching the edge there using the already existing edge. Now I can do this again, being careful to make sure that I'm staying on the edge, and create more polygons, and see, zooming in close to make sure that I don't have any gaps. So I'm digitizing within that snapping distance, and clicking along the existing edges here for the outer boundary, which is participating in the snapping, and then also inside the uh, current lakes polygon. And when I finish all of them, then I can use the editor merge tool and shift click all the polygons I want to merge, the contiguous polygons, and I'll do this merge, and it basically makes now this one upland polygon. So I can go ahead and select that lakes and delete it, and then I'd have the upland lakes. But oops, I made a mistake. Now a good thing to remember if you make a mistake is this edit undo the last option can work. I didn't digitize these islands that are in the lake. Those are part of the upland also. So if I zoom in on I can see that they're these island areas. And I can use autocomplete then to digitize those. So this just shows you I've lost the boundary. I want that entire boundary. I want to digitize it again. So I use the autocomplete and just click outside and then outside and it autocompletes this polygon in two halves and I can use the old merge tool and merge them together. So there's one island and I can go to the other island and do the same thing, right? Use this autocomplete function, click outside the island on both sides and there I have this new tool or new um, polygon. Now when I delete the lakes, I'm left with just the uplands. Thank <laughs> you.